Hi, I'm David Gross, back with you to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. One of the new things we've got on our Facebook page is a little place called Ask David. These are where you can send me questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And one of the questions we keep getting is how do I adjust the paper tray on my new printer? Well, right here in front of me we have the SG400 and the SG800. And of course, this is the latest generation of the Rico printers that we have offered for many years. These printers have been stellar success printers for the sublimation industry. In fact, I would say a lot of the viral success of sublimation is due to the Rico technology that is in these printers. And what I'd like to do is walk you through a very common question, and that is how do you adjust the paper tray in these printers? First question is, why would you want to adjust them? And the answer is very simple, because these printers get bigger. They grow larger so we can print on bigger pieces of paper. So if you don't want to do that, you're going to be limited to the initial configuration, which is really set for, for letter size. So I'd like to show you how to do that, and I think you'll find it very interesting. Okay, here's our SG400, and what we're going over is really applicable for even the older printers that bear the Rico name. And you know, ultimately, the, the advantage of this printer is it's just very flexible when it comes to paper handling, meaning we can go a little bit bigger and also we can go smaller. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to make the printer, how to, how to make the paper tray support legal size paper. It's very simple. We unlock this little green tab here. We unlock this green tab. So I pulled them out, okay? And now what we're gonna do is make the tray longer. You see there, that's all there is. We're gonna lock these back in place. And now with the tray like this, we can feed small paper, we can feed large paper up to 8.5 by 14, something like that. Now. We got a couple other things to discuss, and this is this is the backstop here. The backstop is what's used to keep the paper from being pushed backwards. It's very important that it be touching the paper. So if we take some of our mug paper here, which I really love, um, we're going to put in the tray. Now, always remember when we're putting paper in this tray that the print side goes face down, and so this paper has a brighter white side and a dull sort of cream color side on this. So we're going to put it in here like this, and then we're going to push our backstop up till we reach the paper right here. And then we're going to use this over here to frame the paper like this. And so we don't want it real tight, we just want it to frame the paper, and then we're all set. And so we can adjust these to support little people, little pieces of paper all the way up to very large paper. Now one of the things that if you're using one of our custom Ditrans paper sizes, it's always important after you put it in to verify that in the, uh, on your computer, in the driver, that you add this as a custom paper size. And we're happy to do it for you. We can remote in and that kind of stuff. And so then we're ready to put it back in the printer. Now the tray does stick out here a little bit and that's just fine, no problem. All right, we're at our SG-800. This printer is very similar to the 400 with its tray, and it's also similar to the older printers as well. We're going to remove our tray here, set it out so you can get a good view of it. And you'll notice we've got our tabs over here to unlock. Now in this configuration right here, the tray is good for letter size, and it's also good for, for uh, narrow paper, smaller paper, like our mug paper. So for instance, uh, in this configuration, we would put our mug paper in here like this. We'd frame the paper, do our backstop, and you're good to go. But if we want to use this tray to print the big sizes of paper, like the 11 by 17, we got to go big. To do that, we want to unlock this tab over here, unlock this, and then the tray expands, we lock it back. So in this configuration, we're able to print the maximum size paper we can out of this tray. Now, if you look at this and you measure this, it turns out that this distance is about 11.75 inches, and the maximum width, maximum length we can get out of here is 17. So I've actually cut paper 
that allows you to really maximize the tray. It's 11.75 by 17, and that's good for things if you're doing full bleed 11 inch stuff. If this isn't big enough for you, you got another option. You can purchase the bypass tray for this printer, which I strongly recommend. And the bypass tray gives you the ability to print even wider, up to 13 inches. And the length is uh, a good length for this would be 21 inches. So this tray will do all sizes up to and including 11.75 by 17. If you want to go bigger than that, then use the bypass tray. So I recommend that you use this tray for all those sizes and then use the bypass tray for the big ones. All right, let's go ahead and put the tray back in the printer. And we're done. Remember, if you do add custom paper sizes, to add those in the driver, and we can remote in, of course, and show you how to do that. Well, I hope this has been a great video to help you adjust those paper trays to get the maximum value. I recommend that you take advantage of all our custom paper sizes that really reduce labor cost and help you get the most efficiency out of printing. I and mean, of course, that ultimately translates to uh, savings. So this has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Till we meet again, thank you. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. So click here to subscribe to Condi TV on our video channel. Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.